Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you Shopify team folder structure and how they are going to work. Also, you will learn about some of the limitation and what you can do, what you cannot do on Shopify folder structure for teams. So if I come to the shop we have created in previous videos, this is the default team. In the upcoming videos, I am going to focus on bringing customization to the existing team so that you can get to know how you can customize the team and how you can change something in liquid and how section and everything works in Shopify. After that, we will start creating our own team from scratch with zero code uh, added from any other team. So let's start doing it. If you click in the action button, this is the default team in Shopify debut. You can click on the uh, edit code. Also, I all have opened my visual studio code. This is the team we have downloaded in the previous video. If I come to my code here, this is the source code. If you check out, we have asset folder, we have config folder, layout, local, section, a snippet, and template. These are all the files we have here. And you cannot have your own custom folder here. It is not like a, like a WordPress theme or any other thing. If you create a folder here called custom, you cannot use it because Shopify will not understand what is that. The only way Shopify understand is the folders they have here. At the time of this recording, the folder structure is like this. But Shopify promised to bring some new update in the Shopify team structure. They have added some new folder which is going to come in the end of this year, 2019. Maybe they bring it on January or 2020. So that is something new that will come and I will cover it in the channel. But for now, this is all you have, as I said. You cannot create your own folder here. Also, if you come to uh, in, inside the folder, you cannot create a folder inside this one. This is all you have. If you want to create something, just create a file. Either that is a JSON file, or that is going to be a CSS file. Let's say that is a CSS file, or a JS file, or a liquid file. You can create them, but you cannot create a separate folder. These are the guidelines I am giving you. Like that, that are the limitations. So if I come to my theme here, in the previous video, I said, you want to bring changes to your theme to the live store. Everything we write is in our config folder. If you come to the terminal here, you can press Ctrl tilde, which is uh, the button near exclamation mark. You can now write theme, watch, and this is going to watch for any changes in your local directory, and it will upload that to this store. These are going to be the your uh, store key. I will reset it every time I show it and I will reset it as soon as I finish recording the video. So if you bring any changes, it will affect my store. So make sure you don't do it. This is the theme ID and this is going to be my shop URL. So if I come to my code here, let's say this is a snippet. And if I create a file here, let's say I will give it test.html. Now I will save it. Check out this one. It did upload that to my theme here. It was uploaded. What if I create a folder here? Let's say I am going to create a folder and say this folder name is fonts and I'm going to store all my fonts here. It did not upload anything. Even if I create a file inside this one, let's say test.scss or css, this one will not upload that one. You can see it is going to give you an error. Team file may not be stored in the subfolder. That is an error. That's why you cannot have a subfolder inside the folder. Whatever you have here, it is fine. I wish Shopify add that feature in like um, soon so that you can uh, have more folder inside this one. You, it will give you, uh, if it, it will make your team a lot cleaner. Like you don't have to store uh, like everything like fonts, CSS, JavaScript, everything in one folder. That will give you a lot, a lot of flexibility. So that's it, like this is the team structure you have here. You cannot add more than this, whatever you have here and everything will come here. Now, what is assets? You can store images here, you can store JavaScript file, you can store CSS file, all in the asset directory. Of course, I will go in details in the future videos. In the config, you can store your configuration and all your data. For example, your team has a setting. If I come to the Shopify here, you can click on the theme and you have customized here. If you click on the customize, now this is the theme setting you have. Check out the setting theme setting. I will go in details. All the settings you see here, all of them are written in the setting underscore schema.json. We will look at this in details, but for now, just understand. 
those settings are stored here these are going to be all your information and if you scroll down you have everything else these are um, with translation and these are going to be the data for those settings so I will close this one we will discuss about this in details for now your layout is like a master page think of a page which any sub page will uh, will inherit from that if I open the theme that liquid this is the only page in Shopify page here in the uh, like, let's say like in the Shopify theme that has the HTML document here other pages does not have I mean like if you are creating a page here in the layout all of those pages must have these templates so these are going to be master template for example password has the same thing but if you open any file from the sections let's say I open article they do not have any HTML tag that are like starting HTML tag that's why whatever is in the layout they are going to be master template I call them master and they are master because any other page are going to inherit from them so whatever you write in a section it is going to be injected in a theme that liquid and then it will be displayed if I scroll down here is something called content for layout this is where all the sections will be displayed for example if you have a section called article block court whatever all of those content will be yielded here so that's how it is going to work I'll close this for now we'll talk about them in details I will go to the locals locals is store all the translation file for example the default is English you have any like for any other languages you have this one all of them are JSON file for example is skip the content it will look like this but if I open any other language I don't know which one is this DE and this is how it is going to look this is for translation we will not touch this for now and sections are going to store all your sections what are sections we will talk about them on details but for now if you go come to the section it is very clear theme setting section these are all the sections that you have in your theme if I open these are all the sections you might say there are a lot of them why we don't have all of them some of them are hidden here you can click on add section and you will have all of them here so we'll talk more about them and how you can create your own in the future videos but for now understand whatever in, in the section directory will be here and some of them are not here because some of them can be included directly in layout files a snippets are a small piece of your code like you a reusable code if you have a code that you use in multiple place you didn't need to repeat them you you are add them in uh, let's say one file and then you include it in multiple places and you have template templates are pages for example you have a page called about us you have a page called contact us and they are different you want the design to be different that's why you can create template and when you once you create those pages you can apply those template to the pages we will talk more about them in the future videos but these are the custom templates we have so far also the config.yml file that is store all the configuration for your store this can have more of them for now we have this much this is the standard uh, files you need for the theme but for more we will discuss them like how you can add more files here like how you can get uh, ignore files for your theme and stuff like that in a future video i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video